Today is fabulous. This is a brilliant, brilliant project. This is F24 racing, which is schools competing against other schools and young people driving electric cars that they have built themselves on the fabulous uh, Lotus Test Track here at Heffern. Today we are we're building and racing the car, so uh, hopefully it's going to be a good day. We're going to take outside, we're going to do some test runs, and then uh, hopefully win. We spent, we spent the past few months building a car to then race here and see how well we can place. So we found out about the Dudgeon Trust and the fact that there was uh, funding available to buy a kit car. Um, some students of mine expressed an interest in competing. Kits arrive and they're recyclable as well, so every year they, they can take them apart and then the next year that comes through gets to do the same thing and they come and race. So a reasonably low investment and they can keep that going for a few years within the school. We go twice a week at school, uh, it's literally like a flat pack, IKEA furniture, get the instructions, put it together, test it, see what doesn't work, try and improve it. There's a lot of aspects to learn. There's the physics and mechanics of the brake systems all the way to the electronics of the motor working on removing the weight from the steering over here. I would say we've done quite a lot of the work. We've, um, all together, I've probably done 75% of the building. It involved the children in measuring and up stuff and cutting stuff and fitting it onto the car. They've been involved in competition to design the livery for the car, changing the tyres, all kinds of hands-on practical stuff, but here at the race, they run the team. It's great because like there are people from all different areas of the school and like all different ages and genders and we all sort of mix together and it's like great because we all get to know each other and yeah, I, I love it. So I'm helping out with my team, I'm not driving but um, I'm doing like photographs of the team and I'm also helping with the pit stops in doing seat belts. It's sort of a bit gloomy right now, it's quite rainy and windy but oh well. <laughs> Better conditions, it might be more helpful because at the moment it's quite windy, but it's fine. I just have to have a bit more padding to keep my hips and seat belts tighter. Well, it's fine, it's a bit of a shame about the weather, we're all very uh, soaking wet, but you can just see the enthusiasm in them for the event, get some interested in uh, electric circuits, ride and handling, steering setup, and they're all the types of things that we need for future engineers. Well, what we really are is a source of inspiration. So, hands-on, practical work like this, overcoming problems and challenges and a really detailed project it takes a lot of commitment to get to today, no matter race today. You know, to be at the Lotus Racetrack and be here and see the number of schools that are involved and the enthusiasm of everybody, it's, it's fantastic and Green Power have been awesome. For 20 years um, they've been supporting this event and this idea of getting kids interested in cars, but not just only in cars, but in electric cars as well, which Dudgeon Offshore Wind Farm, as a renewable energy source that creates green energy, is hopefully going to provide the energy of these cars uh, of the future as well. I'd say this has impacted my career because it's just influenced my engineering skills and opportunities, and hopefully I'll be able to go on and proceed in that career could really see that this is what the students needed and wanted and this is the future. I think you only have to look around to see the enthusiasm that it, it, it uh, instills in the students and yeah, it's, it's brought them together as a team. It, this has changed the conversation that I hear in the children around the school about considering engineering and sciences. I mean, I've never done, like, I've never been into DT or anything like that and I've learned so much from this. <laughs> It's fantastic, isn't it? Now the, now the sun's starting to come out, uh, we've got a little bit less rain. Yeah, who couldn't be enthused by a day like this, you know? The children have been on such a journey. They have taken part in a project which they wouldn't normally have done and worked as a team, identified different roles, strengths, weaknesses. It's had a huge impact on everyone helping, the children, the staff, the, everyone involved. It's been amazing.